What? Was it you that would be England's king? Was it you that reveled in our parliament and made a preachment of your high descent? Where are your mess of sons to back you now? The wanton Edward, the lusty George. Where's that valiant crookback prodigy Dicky, your boy, who with his grumbling voice was wont to cheer his dad in mutinies? Or with the rest? Where is your darling Rutland? Look, York. I stained this napkin with the blood that valiant Clifford with his rapier's point made issue from the bosom of the boy. And if your eyes can water for his death, I give thee this to dry thy cheeks. Alas, poor York, but that I hate thee deadly, I should lament thy miserable state. I prithee, grieve to make me merry, York. What? Hath thy fiery heart so parched thine entrails that not a tear can fall for Rutland's death? Why art thou patient, man? Thou shouldst be mad. And I, to make thee mad, do mock thee thus. Stamp. Rave. Fret that I may sing and dance. Thou wouldst be feed, I see, to make me sport. York cannot speak unless he wear a crown. A crown for York. Lords, bow low to him. Aye, marry, sir. Now look he like a king. Aye, this is he took King Henry's chair. This is he was his adopted heir. But how is it that great Plantagenet is crowned so soon and broke his solemn oath? As I bethink me, you should not be king till our King Henry had shook hands with death. And will you pale your head in Henry's glory and rob his temples of the diadem? Now, in his life, against your holy oath, Oh, tis a fault too, too unpardonable. Off with the crown, and with the crown his head. And whilst we breathe, take your time to do him dead. Thank you.